So what does Z equals 20 mean? Well, it means that we're going to go up to 20 electrons, atomic number 20, on the periodic table, which is calcium. Also 20 protons. Okay, so I'm going to draw a simple model out and a table. So this is a, not the exact real model, but this is good enough for SL chemistry and it works most of the time. So you can see that helium has two electrons then, and the electron configuration is two, but then that shell's full. So by the time you get the third electron, you've really got to start another shell. So the first shell can just hold two. And as you see, as we're moving along the periodic table, increasing the number of electrons each time, we're putting one electron into that second shell. Two, one, two, 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 three, and it goes on and on until we get to neon with 10 electrons. And that is two, eight, and the second shell is full with eight electrons. So we need a third shell if we're gonna go one past neon to sodium. That has 11 electrons, so it's two, eight, one. Two electrons, then eight, and then one on the outer shell, and so on to magnesium. Aluminium has 13 electrons, 2, 8, 3. And so the third shell can hold, in SL chemistry, can hold a maximum of 8 electrons as well. So etc, 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 till we get to argon, which has 18 electrons, 2, 8, 8. And that's full now, three full shells. So we have to start on the fourth shell for potassium, and finally, calcium with 20 electrons, 2882. Now, this is why we don't go past calcium, because we told you a little lie about the third shell. That is forbidden IB knowledge. If you're not supposed to know that. Immediately forget it. Let's have a look at the ions, so fluorine and fluoride. Fluoride has one extra electron, so it's 28 instead of 27. And for example, calcium ions have lost two electrons, those two are gone. So two plus means you've lost two negatives. You can thank Thompson for making the electron negative and making this all confusing. And the only tricky one is kind of carbon. So carbon has six electrons. And the carbon iron, well, that's lost four, so it's only got two left. And carbide, it's negative two, eight.